I understand. Not everyone likes everything. But disliking potatoes can be very harsh as they are responsible for saving the world. That's what I'm going to share with you and our lovely audience today by answering an epic question. How potatoes save the world? Zoom in! Some like them boiled, while some like them fried. Some like them crisp, while some like them mashed. No matter what form they come in, these delicious potatoes have become a regular part of our daily diet. But it might surprise you a bit that without these humble potatoes, the world as we know it today wouldn't have existed. How? Well, it all started 8,000 years ago in Southern America's mountain range of the Andes where the ancient Peruvians started to grow potatoes. This new rooty vegetable contained essential nutrients like proteins, carbs, vitamins and minerals that served as an ideal source of energy for the hard-working labor class. This eventually made the Native Americans stronger and sharper enough to form a progressive civilization of the Incan Empire. This empire was famous for its impressive agricultural techniques, art and architecture, which uniquely combined geometrical stonework with the natural landscape. On the other hand, the rest of the world was facing a big hurdle in cultivating crops like wheat and rice in Europe, the Middle East, Asia and millet in Africa. That's because they needed perfect climate and soil conditions along with plenty of water and landmass. As a result, most of Europe was constantly facing grain famine at that time which starved them, spread poverty and led to war due to a shortage of food supply which unfortunately took many lives. But the arrival of potatoes to their land in the 16th century allowed farmers to grow more crops and feed themselves on less land, resulting in the decline in the land price. And as land lost its monetary worth, Disputes over land also became less frequent in regions that could more easily farm potatoes. On top of that, now the Europeans have greater food security and no longer have to face food shortage problems, allowing for a steady and healthy population growth. Not only that, the farmers were able to earn more money which allowed them to pay more taxes resulting in a more stable government because of which the Western countries not only prospered and began to dominate the world. But it was not just limited to Europe. The mighty potato soon reached China around the 1560s in its sweetest glory and in no time the sweet potato became popular due to its ability to even grow in a barren land, helping them overcome food famine and become self-sufficient. And today, China is the world's largest potato producer. As time progressed, the potato-rich countries had a well-fed population capable of operating the emerging factories which eventually brought modernization through the Industrial Revolution. Then later, during World War II, it would have been difficult for Allied armies to beat Hitler's troops without the easy availability of potatoes to feed themselves. So considering all these factors, it won't be wrong to say that the mighty potato did indeed help to save the world. Trivia time! Did you know potato comes from the Spanish word patata? Also, despite its appearance, 
potatoes are made up of 80% water and only 20% solid. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Come on, little kitty, time to eat your potato. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs>